Hi, I'm Philip from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about site link extensions for your Google Ads campaigns, how to set them up and how to get the most out of them. So to start with, in order to access and set up site link extensions for your campaigns, you want to nav navigate over to the ads and extensions section on the left hand side. So you click ads and extensions. And then once it loads, you click extensions in the top navigation bar extensions. And then what you want to do is click the plus sign to add extensions. We're going to click that and then select site link extension. Now, site link extensions offer a lot of benefits and you want to make sure you set them up correctly so you can get the most out of them so to start with you'll see here that when i've clicked to uh, create an extension there's one two three and even one below so there's four site links that i can immediately set up uh, it's not giving me the option for one site link you can create one site link but it's giving me that option for four because site links are most effective when you set up at least four site links or more. So make sure that when you're setting these up, you set up four site links. Um, now, the first option here is to select between adding those site links at the account level, campaign or ad group level. So if we select account level, what that means is that these site link extensions will be used for every single campaign that we have within our account. So if you select that option, you want to make sure that the extensions that you're creating are going to be relevant and applicable to all of your campaigns, which they may or may not be. Um, and with if you select campaign level, then you can select which campaign you would like to apply those site link extensions to. And the same is true for the ad group level. Um, so you can even create site links for each of your ad groups, different site links. Um, in most cases though, advertisers will select a campaign that they wanna apply these site links to. So that's what I would recommend selecting. Select campaign and then choose the campaign or campaigns that you would like to apply those site links to. Now, you'll notice with site links, um, there's a number of different fields that you can enter. So you've got site link text, which is the which is effectively going to be the title of the site link, and it's also going to be a link that they can click to go to the landing page or the final URL that you select for that site link. Um, so it's important to note that what site links are supposed to be used for is to link your prospective customers, people seeing your ads, link them to another page, which gives them more information. So if the site link, uh, for example, is saying um, about us, learn more about the services that we offer, learn more about our history, um, then that site link should link them to you, your about us page. Um, so that's what these site links are designed to do. Give users more information than they would otherwise get from your expanded text ad or your responsive search ad um, and that's the that's the benefit that they offer i'm just going to show an example here of filling out one of the ad extensions and it's important here to use both of the description lines and that can be one sentence that runs across both description lines um, because you, the, the ad may not show with the description, sometimes it will, but if it does show the description, it'll show both lines. Um, and your, your, uh, site link extension is more likely to show if you have entered a description and you have the added benefit of giving more information, getting more real estate within the ad results with a bigger ad by using the description. So always use the description. So I'm just going to put an example um, set of uh, text in here uh, and I'm just going to use an example. This is an investment related product. Um, so we're just going to put in here investment, free investment search and um, 
start a free search today to find the best investment for you. So you'll notice here that the uh, title or the site link has a 25 character limit. So you've got a small link that you can put in there, small amount of text, and you, but you've got 35 characters for each of the description lines. And I've got a description that runs across both lines. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're not repeating anything any any uh, benefits or features here because these site link extensions are going to be showing alongside as i've said your eta or your rsa your your core ad um so you don't want to be repeating the same information um because people will just be reading the same thing twice you want to be giving extra information and you don't want to repeat any information in your site links because those site links could conceivably show together um and you'll see there's an example here of um, potentially um, what site links you're going to be using. Um, that's not necessarily how your site links will pre be presented or how they will look. Um, it's just to show you um, which ones you've put in here. But your site links will often show with the, the description lines. Um, so... Another point to remember is that once you've created your site links and added them to the campaign, they've been approved. Um, that's the key there. They've been approved by Google to uh, be eligible to show. That does not necessarily mean that they're going to show every time somebody searches for your ad. Uh, I mean, it makes a search in Google and your ad shows. Um, your site links may not show with your ad. It's 100% at Google's discretion whether your site links show. And Google's always testing different um, parts, uh, different extensions um, going along with your ad to see what's going to get the highest click-through rate. Um, and some, some site links may show because they get higher click-through rates and some may not show. So don't be alarmed if you've created your site links and they're not showing in Google. Um, that's completely normal and they may show sometimes and they may not show other times. Um, so once you've created your um, four site link extensions, then you can scroll down and select save. Click the save button just here. And those will be applied to your campaigns. Um, and then you can check back to uh, ensure that they've been approved. So there's an example here of um, one that's been approved, uh, an extension that's been approved. So you'll see that they've been approved and then they can begin showing. Um, so you should always aim to set up site links for every campaign that you're running. Um, even if you don't have additional pages uh, on your website that you'd like to link users to. Uh, if you just have one landing page, just one landing page that you're sending traffic to, um, you can still use site links. Now site links are intended to give people the opportunity to see other pages of your website and get additional information that way. But what you can do is use the same um, the same uh, landing page. So let's say the ad links to, just as an example, I'm just gonna put an example URL, so investment.com. Let's say we that was our landing page that we were using. You can put that for each of the different site links if you want to, and then have a different site link text and description. Um, the key here is that you're linking them to a page that has the information that you're describing in that site link. As long as you're doing that, um, you can use it for that purpose. And that gives you the advantages that come with using site links, um, which can be improved click-through rates. You can get higher click-through rates when you're using site links. You can get a higher quality score when you're using site links because Google wants advertisers to be using all of the features that are offered on the platform. So always use site links when you're setting up a campaign um, and you'll be able to enjoy all of those benefits. 
Um, so I hope this video has been useful and informative. Um, if so, feel free to subscribe for additional advice and information on how to manage your marketing campaigns. And thank you for watching.